Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're going to take a look at the ball position for tee shots. This is the second in my series of golf swing fundamentals, so if you're interested in this, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, Welcome, this channel is all about helping you play better golf. And one of the best ways to play better golf is to click on the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification and then you're on your way. In this series of golf swing fundamentals, uh, I, did a, I did one recently about ball position for irons. Uh, and in that we spoke of not only ball position for irons, but ball position for all shots that we hit the ball from the grass. Today we're going to look at what happens when we play a tee shot. So why do we actually use a golf tee? So that's the first thing we need to start thinking about. And we use a golf tee primarily to help get the ball in the air. We don't trust the club's ability to get the ball in the air, so we just give it a little bit of a helping hand by teeing the ball up. So it's not that important with short irons and, uh, and, and mid it starts to become more important with mid irons, but with short irons, I tend not to even use a tee, but a lot of people do. So we're gonna work out where the right ball position is. So in that, uh, in that previous video about ball position for shots from the fairway, I spoke of the bottom of the U and the bottom of the arc is where we should play the ball, and that is halfway between our feet. Okay, so where is the right position for us hitting an iron from the tee, say on a par three. So the bottom of the arc is there in the middle of my stance. After, as the club comes down and reaches its maximum speed at the bottom of the arc, from that point on, the club is gonna be rising slightly. And that's where we need to play the ball to our left. We don't tee it very high because we don't really want to catch it up here in the top part of the golf club. We really want to catch it down in the bottom line there. So I just move it a couple of inches to my left. So I would normally play the ball from the center with this one, two inches to the left is about right. So we'll see how it goes. And there's a really nice crisp iron shot that's gone pretty straight. You can see my club has just touched the grass lightly and that's got under the ball and that was quite a successful shot. So tee it low and just sneak it forward just a little bit. Here I've got a fairway wood. I could easily have a hybrid. It's basically the same ball position. So the fairway wood and the hybrid both have very shallow faces. So when we play this, it's very similar to an iron. So if it was off the fairway, I would position it in the middle of my stance. The fact that I've got it on a tee, and I've only teed it up a little bit, I really want to move that a couple of inches forward again. So it's a very similar location to where I played my iron shot from. So we'll see how I go. And there's a nice fairway wood down off the tee. It went pretty straight. The tee went backwards, so it's got to be a good shot. Only joking. That's one of the myths. You don't worry about that. As long as the tee moves, I think it's a good shot. Whether it goes forwards or backwards depends on how, how hard the ground is. And at the moment, uh, we've got fairly firm ground here. So it went backwards and the tee broke. So then lastly, we need to think about what height we tee the ball and what position the ball is in our stance when we get the big dog out, the driver. So the driver has a very deep face. It's much larger than the previous clubs that we've spoken about. So we need to tee the ball up a little bit higher. And the rule of thumb is we want half the golf ball to be above the crown of the golf club. So because we're teeing the ball higher, we need to move the ball further to our left so that we can catch the ball on the up. So I'm not going to be trying to hit up. I'm naturally letting the club rise because the swing is in a U shape or it's in an arc. 
So if I can hit the ball in the right place, the ball will go quite nicely. So I'm going to move this now. I'll put it in relation to that line. There. It's just a bit too high, so I'll tee that down a bit. So if I get my left heel level with this yellow stick, that puts the ball basically just near and adjacent to my left heel. So I have half the ball sitting above the club face and from there I'm good to go. And that's good flight and the ball went nice and straight. I'm pretty happy with that result. Now some people like to hit the ball a little higher and some of the clubs have slightly deeper faces than others. So in those circumstances, what we would then do is we would tee the ball up a little bit higher. So you can see there, I've got the tee quite high. I've got the ball well above the club face. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to move my ball position even further to my left. So I'm gonna position that now so that it is somewhere level with my toe. So now the club is really rising. So I'm still trying to meet the ball in the right part of the club, but by the higher we tee it, the further left we put it. So that's now off my toe. We will see how it goes. So that ball traveled a bit higher, but I caught it in the right part of the club and that's an effective strategy. So there you go. How high do we tee the ball and where is the ball position? So basically the rule of thumb is the lower we tee it, the closer we have it to the center of our stance. If we tee it up just a little bit, we move it a little bit to the left. If we tee it high, we move it further left. If we tee it very high, we move it even further left. So you need to play around with it. I would get on the range and try and just experiment a little bit and see what works for you. So these are just guides. Everyone's slightly different. So thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification. And I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video.